Alright, you guys, I just learned a lot about my relationship with Kelly in that moment with you. I had no idea. Thank you, Kelly. That was very sweet of you. I gotta figure out how to not bring a drink on stage. Hey, everybody! I probably would have got done with that a whole lot faster if I didn't have. I'm the Hulk. <laughs> I'm the Hulk. I got it back in. All right. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Come on. Yay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Let me. All right. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll start a sentence one day. Um, no. What's What I'm going to say is, uh, okay, here's the thing. There's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot of fucking talk about uh, the whole, like, diagnoses tonight. A lot of, like, ADD and ODD and OCD and OPP and whatever. And <laughs> the thing is, is that oh, I'm just so tired of us all being overdiagnosed. Like, ADD is a perfectly natural reaction to the fact that there's a lot of shit going on, you guys. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I don't have a disorder. I'm just unevolved. <laughs> <laughs> My 14-year-old niece can sit on her computer doing her homework, Skype to her friend, text her other friend, I watch TV, play Angry Birds on her iPad, listen to her iPod, and still choose to ignore her mother. <laughs> like, the next generation has got it. <laughs> <laughs> They're diagnosing kids right now with oppositional defiant disorder. Uh -huh. <laughs> oppositional defiant disorder. Do you know what this means? Yes. Yes. Having an opinion. <laughs> Having an opinion, you guys. Standing it up, up to authority. That's what oppositional defiant disorder is. James Dean was no rebel without a cause. <laughs> <laughs> he was a rebel without medication. <laughs> he needed our help. We let him down. <laughs> Rosa Parks just throwing a tantrum on the bus. <laughs> The United States of America was simply standing up against its motherland. But it's just, pop a pill, you'll feel better. <laughs> oh, we promise. Uh, I just got diagnosed bipolar. Huh? Yeah. yeah! Guess which side of the coin I'm on? I don't know. <laughs> Let's figure it out together. All right. <laughs> you gotta give it up for bipolarity, because otherwise I might scream at you later. <laughs> Probably will anyways. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I was afraid to go in and get diagnosed, because I feel like when you do, they sign you up for the Disorder of the Month Club email list. <laughs> you know, where it's like, oh, you were gullible enough to believe you had that affliction. <laughs> do you also feel the need to stand up after you've been sitting on your fat ass all day? You have restless leg syndrome. <laughs> Do you feel the need to sit down after you've been on your feet all day? Tired leg like syndrome. Uh, a pill. <laughs> I was afraid that I would get in there and they would be like, listen, you have perpetual debt syndrome. You need to check your credit because you can't afford us. <laughs> but it's okay, you guys. There's a pill for that, too. Only cost me $100 on my credit card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be out of debt in no time. <laughs> but I got. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, they got me on Xanax and Seroquel now. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Rockstar drugs! <laughs> Without all that pesky fame or free shit. Who needs that? <laughs> I used to be an emotional eater, and now I just don't feel emotion. So. <laughs> things are nice. Let me down. <laughs> just in time. For beach season. <laughs> I went to the beach last year and uh, there, I saw like 30 people lined up in the, like looking at the ocean from inside their cars. <laughs> what? One of them had Sounds of the Ocean on CD and dash. <laughs> Shh. It's like we're there, sweetheart. You are. Get out of the fucking car. <laughs> Go to the beach and 
looking at the ocean from inside your car is like camping in a hundred thousand dollar RV that you live in. <laughs> Just because you can see a tree out your window, you're not a woodsman, all right? The axe makes you a woodsman, unless you're chopping up people. <laughs> then you're not a woodsman either, you're a people person. I know the difference. <laughs> Um, no, what I was saying though, oh, here's the thing, is, uh, back to the bipolar thing, um, <laughs> all right, transition back, there, we're there, <laughs> awkward, um, no, uh, here's the thing, I was really happy to get diagnosed and everything in the long run, because I, I was swinging back and forth a lot towards the end, where I was like, I've never attempted suicide, but I have attempted writing the note, <laughs> and that shit is hard. Cause you don't want to go out on a trite note. <laughs> you, uh, that'd be the worst. Like you want to leave the world with meaning and value and just a little bit better than when you came in. I sat down and I was like, dear world. Okay. <laughs> It's not your fault. Don't blame yourselves. Boo! Get off the page! <laughs> like, I already hate myself enough to sit down and have to write this. Now I'm like, what are you doing? This is disgusting. This note, what are you doing with your life? Uh, trying to end it, me. Settle down. Stop being so judgy. <laughs> But this is how bipolar I was, was three sentences in, I go, and by the way, this is a draft. <laughs> so if you find it before I do anything, I'm open to feedback. <laughs> See, where do you go from there? Um, I'm trying to. Uh, I decided not to hate people. Oh, shit. All right. Decided not to hate anybody except myself. No. Um. <laughs> oh. I forgot for a moment we were at a comedy show. <laughs> I think I'll, I, does she hasn't, she doesn't have a knife, does she? She's not gonna cut herself on stage. This isn't that kind of show, is it? All right, let's find out. Um, no, I decided, I decided not to hate, anyway, except people that say Reese's Pieces. <laughs> Those are those people. I'm trying to, all right, anyways. Uh, I'm trying to be more understanding. But here's the thing, okay, uh, shit, I'm trying to, I'm sorry, I started into something right when you, all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's only one group of people that I actually hate, and uh, it'd be weird if I said minorities. I realize that. <laughs> all of a sudden it went from comedy show to clan rally. I don't know what happened. It'd be even weirder if somebody stood up and was like, yes, finally! Somebody in the speaks to me! Uh, no, but I, uh, it, I hate people that tell me that I hate them. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. It's obvious that we both hate each other at this point. Uh, not to me. <laughs> you can't do that to me. I'm a people pleaser. Give me another chance. I can be the best hater ever. 
I, I, I think it's easier for somebody to assume that another person hates them than it is for that person to understand that they're just not that important to everybody. <laughs> Where it's like, you're, yeah, right? You're at a party and somebody's, you're talking at somebody or whatever, nobody listens at a party, but they're like, oh my god, I, Becky's totally ignored me all night, she hates me. Uh, no, she just doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Did you know her? Did you have a falling out? No, we've never talked. <laughs> but uh, by that logic, I can assume that I'm hated by every starving child in Africa. <laughs> because really, 29 years, no letter? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Jackie, I'm writing to you with this last ounce of strength from the morsel of bread that I was given last week to ask you how your comedy career is going. <laughs> Have you sold that pilot yet? I hope so. I would buy it except I don't know what TV is. <laughs> oh, gotta run and here comes a cheetah. <laughs> Guys, that joke is entitled, Donate to Charity. <laughs> because Gatungo fucking hates me. So let's get him some pens. So he can validate my existence. All right, on that note, I gotta go, I'm gonna go.